Today on Knife Banner, Kurt is gonna shave with this knife. Let's talk knives. Let's go! How's it going guys? Welcome to Knife Banner and today we are talking about the seven best Microtech knives of all time. We have a crazy field test and at the end of this video, we have an epic giveaway. Epic, slap like now. So trust me, it's gonna be a wild ride, hold on. It's gonna be a good one. All right, so kicking it off for the best Microtech knives of all time, we can't talk about best Microtech knives of all time and not talk about the LUDT. What does that mean? Uh, large underwater demolition team. I, every time I try to say that, I always get messed up on the demolition. I just want to say demo team. Demo team. I mean, yeah. same thing. Same, same difference. Um, so the reason that we have to talk about this knife when we're talking about it is not only is this one of your guys' favorites, not only is this one of the top selling Microtech knives of all time, this is also the knife that kicked it all off. So this Sweet. is the first production knife that Microtech ever put out was the LUDT. And uh, you know, this one, this particular one right here, it goes for 259 on the website. You get an aluminum chassis. Uh, this one's got a 204P, uh, Carpenter 204P blade steel, um, nice pocket clip. And then, you know, just everything made in the United States, which is what you get with Microtech. Every single thing is made locally yeah. here in the United States. Yep. Yeah. I. Some people I feel like don't like the aluminum scales, mm -hmm. the handle, but I actually don't mind the aluminum. Yeah. Yeah, for me, aluminum, titanium, they tend to be a little slick. A little um, slick. But like with this knife, for example, you get some nice jimping across the back of the, the blade of the knife, and you get some knife just jimping on the back of the knife, the frame of the knife. Whew, struggling. And then also you get some, some grip points here. So when you put it in hand, it doesn't feel slick like a lot of other aluminum or titanium Here's knives. what we should do. Yeah. Let's go get some explosives, <laughs> go underwater, right. and let's demo something. Right, right, with, with this that. knife. Right. That's maybe next field That's test. That's the only way. That's the only way. <laughs> so anyway, guys, this is the LUDT, a uh, really great knife. We've got a bunch of different variations on the website. Um, and like I said, with Microtech, everything you get, 100% made in the USA. Yep, absolutely. All right, guys, up next, we have the Troodon. So actually, <laughs> Troodon? Tr so we've been saying Trudon. I've said Trudon forever. And then uh, we did some important research before, right before we started Very filming serious. this. serious. Yeah, we got on YouTube, we found a Jurassic Park video. Uh, in Jurassic Park, it's pronounced Troodon. So we know that that is the most scientifically accurate source. Yes. So we're gonna call it the Troodon. <laughs> it is the Troodon. And this is one of their OTF entries. Uh, it's kind of one of the classic designs that they've had forever. Um, you got same with the uh, aluminum scales here. You got your deep carry pocket clip, glass breaker. This one is a dagger style. And this one is, let's see. That one this... should be 204P steel as well. Yep. Yeah, so a lot of, so with Microtech, this is something to know about them. They're always upgrading and changing their steels for what works best for the knives that they make, right? That's interesting. So they're always testing steels, they're always getting feedback from customers. So currently, most Microtech knives are two, Carpenter 204P. Okay. Um, but you can get them in LMAX, M390, all those things. So just check out which one it is before you buy it, which one you're looking for, um, and just know they're always changing. Right. Yeah. I, I do like these right here because it the ergonomics, I'll put it in my left hand, it just, it feels good to have that upper sweep where my thumb sits. Not on a dagger though. That's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I never I haven't thought of that. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. I don't own a dagger, so Yeah. And that's actually something with like any OTF dagger I've ever had is like a real thing you have to think about when you're firing that button is like, oh yeah. Oh my goodness. I one of my really close friends, we were camping, it was like a month ago, and we were eating some steak. Yeah. And he was using a dagger blade, yeah, and not even thinking about it, lifted his knife right through his finger. Oh, it was bad. Yeah, be careful with your dagger blades, guys. <laughs> Care, careful with those daggers. So uh, with the Trudon, uh, it also comes in the combat. So there's the combat Trudon as well. And when we're talking best Microtech knives, the combat version of the Trudon is super, super popular. So you get all of the very similar things that you get with the smaller version, just bigger, more to grab. Right. And this particular one is also Hellhound. So this is the Hellhound blade, which is just a, a really neat blade pattern that Microtech has. So this is something else to know about Microtech is you can get 
almost any of these knives with like a bunch of different blade variations, coated, huh. not coated, partially coated, serrated, dagger, not dagger, like That's everything. That's interesting. Um, and a lot of them come in the Hellhound version as well. So if you like the Hellhound version, uh, I mean, it probably comes in one of the microtechs you're interested in. So, so the Troodon, the little, the normal Troodon yeah. is 375. Truodon. Truodon. Tru Let us know in the comments. Truodon. <laughs> <laughs> it's 375 on the website and yeah you guys should definitely check these out if you haven't fired one you need to get one in your hands yeah and the uh this combat tridon with the hellhound blade goes for 685 on the website i am curious though how many people out there love dagger blades and yeah. why like yeah, yeah. I, I would like to know let us why. know because obviously in a self-defense situation right right uh that's probably like the most common use for a dagger blade. Right. But let us know if you use it in just your regular EDC. Yeah. I'd be interested to know. Um, but talking about needing to get a Microtech and needing to fire and feel that action, um, obviously we're gonna be talking about the Ultratech. So this is the Microtech Ultratech. Um, this particular one's just a, kind of a normal one, does have the dagger blade. Um, glass breaker, deep carry pocket clip, aluminum chassis, all made in the USA. You're gonna notice a lot of common themes with the knives on the table. Um, but this knife right here, is the defining feature of any OTF knife on the market. It's the standard. It is. If you, this is the ruler by which every other OTF on the market is measured. Um, so I agree. if you wanna own the definitive OTF knife, get yourself a Microtech Ultratech, uh, great action, classic design, and really, like I said, just defining what it means to be an OTF knife. People copy this for a reason. Yeah. It yeah. is, top of yeah. the line. Which is actually a problem with Microtex. It's right. like if you're buying it secondhand, make sure it's not a copy because right. that's actually a thing that people do because Microtech is so well known and does such a good job. Yep. Um, so anyway, so this is Microtech Ultratech. And uh, speaking of Microtech Ultratechs, uh, Kurt had a little adventure with one of these recently. Let's take yeah. a look. Kurt really took one for the team on this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you have to use so much shaving cream? I'm not kidding. It was a pile and it was gel. I was right. expecting it to be foam. Yeah, yeah. No, it was gel. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> it's right. gross. Dude, swing that leg up here. We got to see this thing. <laughs> now you guys know how I roll behind the, the uh, table here on knife banter. Dude. Oh my gosh, I, I'm not gotta, touching it. Yeah, no, you not gotta get, like, I no. need the feels. No, 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 I guys, need the feels. I'm not touching this leg, <laughs> get it down. <laughs> oh man. Well guys, uh. I told you, the wheel of indecision is never gonna let you down. Never gonna let you down. Just remember, we're also doing a giveaway, so hold on till the end for that giveaway. <laughs> What's up guys? Hey. So uh, today I brought the uh, Moorish made micro Soyuz. Um, little flipper here. I don't know any of the words you just said, but I like the way it looks. Yeah, and I don't know if I pronounced <laughs> it right either, but uh, this guy, uh, he's o he's only like 25 out of Tennessee, makes knives in his spare time. I think he has a day job. Yeah. Um, he reached out a couple years ago uh, via email and said that he was a big fan. He's been buying from us for uh, the last uh, few years, huge fan, you know, wanted his work on the site. And so we bought a few knives and now we got a few more. Um, this one, please, somebody buy before I do. Um, there's this one and one other micro on there. Dude, the mill, the milling pattern here is incredible. I know. It's yeah, like cool. this like it's awesome. patched, 
Like, basket woven. I love oh, it. Yeah, yeah, you guys should buy it before I do because I really like that. <laughs> and I can't afford it. No, I'm gonna <laughs> buy it. <laughs> but yeah. I love I love these like uh, handmade. Like it's got a warmth to it. You know, when you flip it open. There's there's no lock stick, but it's got that little bite to it. You know, and I like that little bite. Yeah. So I feel like my frame locks are you know like secure. Yeah, that's but, cool. Uh, I think five six hundred bucks for the different variations. Yeah. But I, Big fan, so I wanted to give him a shout out. And that's really cool, man. That's cool. Get someone to buy this before I. That's really cool. <laughs> no, before really. you go home with it. Uh, I'm, yeah. sh I'm sure Jamie's got a nice close up on this, guys. This this mill pattern here is really, really neat. I'd like to see more of that stuff. That's really cool. Good stuff. Morish made on Instagram, I Mo believe. Morish Samuel made. Morish. Yeah, check it out. Sweet. We'll, we'll flash his info up yeah. on the screen somewhere. So, anyways, cool, man. Well, thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, oh, Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta have this. Oh, shirt. wait, wait, wait. What's what's in your pocket? We didn't ask what's in your pocket today. What's on my belt? Uh oh, on your belt. We got fixed plate today. Oh, there we go. 1911 Commander. Dude, you're rolling like a that, baller. That gorgeous green maple pearl. <laughs> That's nice. Guys, we just had some of these. They dropped and they sold out in like a minute or whatever. But anyways. Cool. Yeah, That's nice. Cool. And I bought one after dropping $2,000 on car repairs. So that should show you my, <laughs> my love for the product. Tyson's a real deal. Thanks, man. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, guys, let's just jump right back into the table. So let's just jump into it. We have a Microtech UTX85. Why is it the 85? Dude, I can't stop thinking about you shaving your leg. <laughs> I've guys, got soft skin, guys. guys. <laughs> give Kurt a thumbs up. It's just, he really took one for the team on this one. <laughs> give Kurt a thumbs up. Let's get this video a trillion likes. I lost I just... a lot of blood, guys. <laughs> Anyways, what was the question? UTX 85? Uh, yeah, you, okay, okay. Why, why uh, is it an 85? Because it's 85% the size of an Ultratech. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So sweet, sweet little deal with that one. So they're very similar. They come in the different blade shapes, the different colors, the different patinas. This one right here is the apocalyptic green. It basically just has a little wear and tear there on the corners some kind of patina that I think you could create on your own mm -hmm. over years of use. Derelict! But they got it started for you. The 85 is actually pretty good in my hand. It's smaller, but it's workable. I yeah. like it. For me, the 85 is the perfect size. Yeah, it's a yeah. good one. Yeah. And this one you can get on the site for $237. Um, now, looking at that UTX 85 and that finish, uh, that's something else that Microtech does really, really well with all of these knives that you'll see on the table, not just the seven best, but all the knives that Microtech does, uh, they put a lot of neat finishes and a lot of like different touches to different knives. Yep. Um, and the other thing is they're almost sprint runs. Like they don't call them sprint runs, but sometimes right. they'll do a finish and they only do one run of it. You never see it again. So right. if there's a finish that you just have to have, probably jump on it because who knows if they're gonna do it again. Yeah, they, you know? they usually don't last too long. Um, so then next up we have, speaking of UTXs, we have the UTX 70. You guessed it, it is 70% the size of a UTX, or uh, of a Ultratech. Um, and this is a nice little guy. I think this would make a really great in-pocket uh, OTF, just because it's so small. Um, and the cool thing with this is, you know, you get American-made design, you get all the quality of Microtech, just in a really compact package. Um, I don't know if it's particularly legal anywhere else or not, that it wouldn't be normally. I'm not a lawyer, um, but I would say that it is a, re a, a really neat kind of just smaller knife. I'm a little scared of the dagger. Yeah, 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 as you mentioned. A little, little nervous. As you mentioned. A little nervous, the dagger <laughs> makes me nervous. But I actually like that size. Yeah, that's I funny. I carry a, an OTF yeah. uh, regularly. Yeah. And it would be kind of nice to have a little downsized. A little, a little baby one. Now, I don't like small knives. Yeah. but. I would be willing to try that one out. I think it's pretty cool. Guys, this might be the first time Kurt has ever wanted to actually carry a small knife. So interesting. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to- <laughs> We maybe, might have to do We might have to do something with that. Maybe put that on the calendar. Uh, and you can get that UTX-70 for 222 on the website. All right, guys, up next, we've got the manual. Notice that this was a manual, not an automatic. SOCOM Elite. And this thing is sweet. Uh, it's good to note that it is a manual and where all these other knives are automatic, they make a handful of knives that are manual. Yeah, Microtech makes, any knife that Microtech makes, you can be assured is gonna be an awesome knife. And so if you live in an area that doesn't allow you to have automatic knives, that's fine because Microtech still makes an incredible line of folders. Right. Yeah, this one, it's aluminum chassis. It's got this uh, rubberized grip here, glass breaker. 
Um, it's actually fairly light yeah. with that aluminum chassis. For how big it is, it's actually right. pretty light knife. Exactly. And like we were saying with the blades, here's a two-tone variation of this. This one goes for 300 on the website. Yeah, 300 even. So. And the automatic version of that knife actually won Best American Knife of the Year at Blade Show this year in 2019. Oh, cool. Yeah, so um, just another hallmark showing that Microtech really is and has been pumping out incredible knives. It's actually right. their 25th anniversary. And since day one, Microtech has been creating just incredible, incredible knives. Pushing the standards. They really have. Um, and speaking of pushing the standards, uh, the last knife on the table that we have is this uh, Marfio and Custom Halo. Now, this one in particular is important for a couple reasons. So first off, it's a custom. So Microtech is one of the production companies out there that is offering some really incredible customs. Not only that, but the Halo was the first OTF that they ever produced. Oh, cool. Um, so as a result, it's a little bit of a throwback. So let's uh, see what this bad boy looks like. Oh. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. <laughs> Dude, gives me chills. Gives you goosebumps. Um, so this one has got a hand ground blade, uh, this obviously a polished finish on that, that Hellhound blade style that we had shown you guys before. Um, you get the carbon fiber uh, front here with the anodized blue hardware. Now with the Halo, uh, they are single action. So any of the Halos that you buy, whether it is this custom or another one, you get single action so you have to recharge it and then you can fire it again. Compared to a double action, a double action, which is yep. out and in, exact one hand. Um, now, something that's really neat with these customs is that you get the uh, you get Anthony Marfione, Sean Marfione, and a date, and then the USA thing all put there on the charging handle, which is kind of a neat little that's touch cool. um, from a company, like I said, a production company that is still putting out some really incredible customs. Um, a lot of times with production companies, when they put out a custom, it's like a showpiece. Right. And you, you, like maybe it's a collector's piece, but you can't really buy it. Um, but Microtech does make, consistently make some really incredible customs. This particular one goes for $2,500. So custom price for sure. Custom level quality, custom level price. Worth it. A um, lot of great knives on the table. And now let's jump into the collection connection. All right, guys, welcome to the Collection Connection. This is your corner on Knife Banner. If you use hashtag BHQ Collection uh, on Instagram, post your collections, your knife picks, your adventures. We go through there every week and we pick a couple of our favorites. We give you guys a shout out here on the show. But today we're doing things just a little bit different. We got a really neat letter uh, from Zach D. I don't know where he lives, but he wrote it on Saturday at 2.27 p.m. Glad to have that information. It's very specific. And he is 14 years old and he really wants a Benchmade 51 Morpho, the Blade HQ exclusive for his birthday. He said he's asked his mom. So mom, if you're watching, you gotta get Zach the knife. Look you, at this amazing picture. You gotta picture. make it happen. Yeah, look at this amazing picture. So anyways, awesome. guys, we love hearing from you guys. We love, whether it's digitally or physically, we love getting pieces like this. So Zach, thank you so much for, uh, for sending this uh, rad drawing in. We'll probably hang it up on the wall behind us because it's a good one. Yeah, it's a keeper. Not? It's a keeper. Um, all right, as promised guys, at the end of this video, we said we'd be doing a giveaway and we've got something pretty epic. So we were talking about the best Microtech knives of all time. I hyped up that Ultratech quite a bit. And for one of you lucky people out there, you're gonna find out the hype is real. We are giving away this Ultratech with the Tonto blade. We can't give away the one that Kurt shaved with, because he nicked himself a couple times. So yeah. you don't want that knife. Yeah. Um, so we're giving away a nice, pristine, fresh one. If you hit the link down in the description, it's gonna be running for the next seven days. And uh, just do whatever the things in the link says and you're entered to win. And we'll email you when you win and we'll announce the winner on all of our social channels. If you want Kurt to sign the box or something, let us know because you're getting this because Kurt shaved his leg. That's why you're getting this knife. So, you're uh, welcome. It's pretty, it's pretty epic. <laughs> so anyways, guys, hit the link down in the description to win this Microtech Ultratech. Now, um, the reason that we got the leg shave, the reason that we got the awesome giveaway was because of the Wheel of Indecision. So we have got Tammy from the warehouse and she is going to spin the Wheel of Indecision for us. Hey, okay, how's it going? Hello. <laughs> All right, let's spin that okay. thing. Oh man, I'm nervous. <laughs> No! <laughs> no! All right, all right. You guys know you guys know the you guys know the drill. If we land on something that we've already done, <laughs> Kurt doesn't have many more body pieces to shave that are in his face. Holy cow. Uh, we actually erase it and put something else. So we're going to erase this. Let us know down in the description what you guys want us to replace it with. So whatever you guys pick, we will also do a knife giveaway with that. So let us know something epic 
that you guys want to see us do with a pocket knife, it will also be included in the giveaway. So let's spin it again. Hey, there we go. Cut a bottle. Cut a bottle. So All right. we are going to cut a bottle. Who knows what that looks like, guys, but we haven't let you down yet, right? We haven't let them down yet. Um, all right, so Tammy, since we have you on, what uh, what do you do at Blade HQ? I work in the warehouse. So guys, that's she's being humble. She's the <laughs> warehouse god. Um, if there's a knife yes. missing, or there's a knife that you need, or there's a knife that you've taken and you didn't check out properly with our system, Tammy comes for you. She'll hunt you down. <laughs> Kurt knows. Kurt has been hunted down multiple times. Many times. He was on vacation in Montana. Tammy went to Montana, found him, and got the knife from him that she yeah. needed. Yeah, it was uh, crazy. I might be making that some of that up. But <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Tammy is absolutely awesome. So what are you carrying? We always ask people what they're carrying when they come on. My box cutter. Well, that's not like a custom or anything fancy. Why, why are you carrying that? But the tape doesn't stick to it. Oh, because ceramic, uh, the ceramic uh, really? blade. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Right on. So there you go, guys. From the pro, opening boxes all day. She's got a ceramic box cutter. Yep. No, no tape Sweet. residue. Nope, not at all. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Tammy. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. We always appreciate the support. Uh, con please consider hitting subscribe. Please consider hitting that notification bell. You guys are what keep this show going, and we'll see you on the next one.